That growing crisis on Mount Everest, a second American dying in just days, bringing the total to 11 deaths already this season. But the danger isn't from avalanches or blizzards. Veteran climbers say it's a lack of oxygen and the crowds. James Longman is there in Kathmandu, Nepal with the very latest. Good morning, James. Good morning, Cecilia. People travel here from all over the world to climb the tallest mountain on Earth. It's always been a dangerous game, but this year has been more deadly than ever. More tragedy at the top of the world. 62-year-old American Christopher Coolish died Monday while coming down from Mount Everest summit. Coolish's family says he passed away doing what he loved. He's now the 11th person and second American to die on the trek in the last 10 days. We could expect five to seven deaths each year. To have 11 this year, I think is alarming for a number of reasons. This season, many experts and climbers warning of dangerous traffic jams forming at the peak. These images showing more than 300 hikers lined up on the mountain. You'd be sitting, sometimes standing still for five, 10, 15 minutes in very cold conditions with very low oxygen because of the high altitude and using up your oxygen while you're standing there waiting. Ed Doring, a doctor from Arizona, experienced the overcrowding firsthand and says his guide was so worried he'd be pushed off the summit, he attached a rope to him. I didn't feel it was safe to the point where I decided it was better to get my picture sitting down rather than standing up. On Wednesday, Utah climber Don Cash just finished his quest to climb the highest peaks on all seven continents when he collapsed and died from high altitude sickness. On Everest, climbers are forced to wait for windows of good weather. When it clears, everyone moves to the summit. And with a large number of people, the longer wait means climbers are spending more time in what's called the death zone. That's above 28,000 feet, where the lack of oxygen can be lethal. Experts say another factor in the overcrowding, less expensive expeditions, so more inexperienced climbers. You have to qualify to run the Boston Marathon, but you don't have to qualify to attempt the highest mountain on the planet. Around 200 people have died trying to climb Everest in the last 100 years or so. But there is now more competition than ever, which means more danger. Cecilia. Okay, James, thank you. You've done some tough climbs like this. You've ever seen anything like that? Mm -hmm. and Those lines are horrific. And you know, when you go to the summit of a mountain, I was at 19,341, not 28,000. But you can only, we could only be at the summit for 30 minutes. And then you have to get down. And we could only stay at 16,000 for an hour. Then you have to go down. Someone had died the week before Oof. on our same track because of oxygen deprivation. Mm -hmm. And that's the concern. So when you have to wait in those long lines, it's deadly. They're going to have to change the They're going to have to change so. it. Yeah. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.